Hi everybody, I am Borgi and today I want to do a tech review on that new hammer I got. Let me show you. <laughs> Hold on. <clears throat> Damn it. Okay, let's, let's do Gamescom instead. Yeah, so I'm at Gamescom at the moment working as a stage cameraman. But before I get into what exactly that is and what it involves, let's take a look around at the Gamescom. Here we go. The Gamescom is the largest and biggest video game and computer game convention worldwide. And I think it's celebrating its 10th anniversary even this year. For the past couple of years, I've been working at the Gamescom as a stage cameraman. And so in today's video, I thought I'd go a little bit more into detail on what a stage cameraman does and what a production like this looks like. When you're working as a stage cameraman, you're not shooting with those small DSLR or mirrorless cameras. I mean, there are people on stage as well doing recordings with those, but the real stage cameras are those big as machines right here. And this is even still a small version of those. Look at all those buttons. Now on this specific production and on this stage, we're using five cameras. Number one, number two, number three and four over here and number five, hidden on stage. Okay, so we've got five cameras and five camera operators, but how do they know when and what to film? That's pretty simple. We've all got our headphones on, and we're all connected to each other and to the director. And the di there's actually people talking right now. And the director is the guy who tells us what to film and when we're live on the air. So for instance, he would say, Camera four, give me a close-up of the guy playing Counter-Strike or FIFA, whatever. And I'd say, camera four, ready. He'd say, camera four, you're on. Then he'd say, camera six, or no, that's not camera six, camera five, give me a close-up or a counter shot or whatever. And he'd say, camera five, you're on. This way I know, camera four, I'm free to move and find the next shot. I don't think I've actually told you what exactly happens on stage here. This is the ESL stage, and ESL stands for Electronic Sports League. And this is where professional video gamers, or pro gamers as they call them, play against each other in teams or solo in different types of video games for huge amounts of prize money. And for me as a stage cameraman, most of the work happens in between those matches. During the introduction of the players, the introduction of the game and its rules, because whenever the match starts, what you see in the stream, obviously, for instance on Twitch, is the in-game footage, so I get to take a break. But depending on the type of game, it may take up to one hour before I have to pick up the camera again, which can get kind of boring. Now I know what you're thinking. You're probably asking, Borgi, did someone die? Are you attending a funeral? No, everything's fine. Thank you for asking though. This is just our dress code. They ask us cameraman to wear black or at least dark colors. First of all, so that we fade into the background in case we accidentally run into the shot of one of our colleagues. And secondly, because they don't want us to show any brands that might not be the sponsor of this show. You've probably always wondered and always wanted to go backstage on one of those productions, right? Okay, come with me and let me disappoint you. There's nothing back here except fans and electronics.
Now, as some of you may know already, my main profession is voice acting, and I do lots of voices for a computer and video games, too. For instance, remember that hammer from the intro right over here? This belongs to a character called Sledge in the video game Rainbow Six. And I voice that character in the German version of the game. So this is twice as cool for me being here. Let me show you a couple of more games where you can hear my voice in the German version, that is. I speak the voice of the monk called Jin, I believe, in the game Fate to Silence over here. I voice a couple of characters in this one too. You can hear me in the upcoming Spider-Man too. Or as we say in German, Spinnenmann. No, we don't, we say, we say Spider-Man. I also do voices in this one, but sadly, I didn't get the part I wanted. I wanted this guy. Five days of Gamescom have come to an end, and that was it from me and my little insight into the work as a stage cameraman. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite video game, what game can't you get enough of? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and until next time, don't wait, go create. Auf Wiedersehen.